Hello and welcome to Energy Connect, where we bring you the latest news and updates from the world of energy. I am delighted to be joined by Khandoum Basida, Managing Director and Country Cluster Lead for the Arabian Peninsula at BASA. Khandoum, thank you so much for taking the time from your busy schedule to be here. Thanks a lot, Noor. Thanks for inviting. Thank you. Um, so, uh, can you tell me more about uh, BASF driving circul- the circular economy within uh, the region, please? So, BASF is firstly a global company. We are more than 160 years old. And um, basically, uh, we began with a recycling of a raw material 160 years ago in a garage in Germany. So, the founder of BASF. So, for us, circularity means a lot. It is also the heart of our plants in Germany, where we do have big plants. They are named in German Verbund, which means they are integrated plants. So that whatever a plant is producing is used by the other one, by the other one, etc., etc. So it is a closed circuit. For us, we are trying then with our solution here in the Middle East and in the Arabian Peninsula to help our customers and our partners being efficient, presenting them the best-in-class solutions and telling them also how to be themselves sufficient and also um, let's say circularity is new but at least to be uh, aware of carbon abatement of carbon footprint of raw material that must be sourced etc etc so our aim is to help our customers for instance producing locally yeah so adding the value locally is the first kind of circularity is producing locally yeah you understand me because you will not have to ship uh, air or water or raw material. You will also create a value in your own country. So this is, I think, one part. The second part is, um, and we are really blessed that in the region here, especially after the COP28, awareness was already there. But now we have not only awareness, but we have also a push from the government and the push from local players, private players, that really need some, um, let's say, highlights in circularity. And it's not only trend, but it's reality. We don't feel that it's trend. We feel that people really need it. Yeah. So, And this is where we are now active in the region. Uh, how do you see um, this playing out in terms of the regional uh, net zero goals? Yeah, very nice that you, you said the net zero goal. Um, as BSF, The department that is responsible for Net Zero has a special name, which is Net Zero Accelerator. So we added this accelerator at the end. Why? Because we think we are not doing uh, the right choices or we were not doing the right choices in the past. So we really need to accelerate. Uh, Whenever someone is telling, uh, I will reduce my carbon footprint by 2030, 2050, etc., etc., whatever date they, they give you, we have to make sure that we as BSF, we walk the talk. So in the region, for instance, um, we are engaging with um, a lot of actors, yeah, be it in the petrochemical world. Um, I can name, for instance, if you increase the yield of a refinery, this is already something because you will use less energy to crack more oil. Um, if we reduce the carbon footprint of uh, also a big company, this is also exactly what we are doing. If we uh, clean the gas that is uh, from a power plant or from petrochemical plants. This is something we aim on and we do. Um, so we are also a member of the EFID, the Association for Industry Decarbonation here in, uh, in, in, in Abu Dhabi. Um, what I can tell you, we, we can start small and grow big. For instance, years ago, we introduced here in, um, in the Arabian Peninsula, and especially in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the uh, heat insulation for houses. So if you really insulate your house, you will spend less energy to cool it down or to heat it. If you use the right pipes under your house or the right infrastructure pipes, you will need to change them after 30, 40, 40 years and not after 10 years. So sustainability is also having a long lasting solution in the industry. From your expertise, so what type of technology is necessary to accelerate uh, the energy transition and uh, sustainability goal? I honestly think the technology is existing. What is not really existing now, even in Europe, is uh, there is no network. There is no real market for the energy. There is no price index. 
I know that the European uh, institutions are working on that. They are working on, on grids. They are working on having a kind of benchmark for the energy price, the green energy price. Um, and what I can tell you is that the region will play uh, an instrumental role. Uh, I mean, here, Dubai, Saudi, Abu Dhabi, this region will play a very nice role because we are in the middle between Europe and, of course, Asia. And also, we do have the capabilities, be it intellectual capabilities, be it financial capabilities, but we do have the most important thing is the willingness to change. And I think what is missing, the willingness to change is missing elsewhere, but not here. It's very good that you said that. Um, the network you mentioned in the beginning. Yes. Uh, why Why is it not uh, existing uh, until now? And also, how will it serve uh, the industry as a whole? So there are some pilots already, for instance, in Belgium, where we participate as BSF. There is also a German uh, cluster for the grid. But, you know, Europe is, uh, I, I can't speak that much about it, but, the, you know, the regulation is Europe is not easy. Yeah. Whenever they change something, they have really to align all of them. And there are maybe some interests from one country that is not matching with the other. But what I know, what, from what I know in Germany and especially at BSF, we are really active there um, very strongly. We even um, try, not try it. We, we had now a highlight, which is with Linde, another German company, and Sabic, a local company. We uh, kicked off uh, first of its kind e-furnace, which is an electric furnace that is then uh, working not with gas. You know, when you have a furnace for petrochemicals, you fire it with gas and then you crack, you crack the molecules into the uh, oxides and ethylene oxide, propylene oxide, you name it. But in this case, this electrical furnace is with green electricity. So it will not burn gas. It will just be heated with green energy. This is a pilot, but it's a huge pilot, and it's, it is also a partnering uh, with a local champion, uh, Sabic, for instance. So this is to reply to the question, what we are doing here in the region? Yes, we are partnering with local champions. Right. Um, how has your experience been so far at the Congress, and what are you most looking forward? Oh, first of all, I mean, uh, networking with peers, learning from others. Um, also having a pulse check, what are the future trends? And as I told you, I don't think there are trends anymore. They are reality. Yeah. So when I see here a lot of people from uh, especially local uh, sponsors that are really showing uh, the showcase of, let's say, pioneering ideas, and I'm pretty sure this will be implemented. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. It was a pleasure to have uh, all, all of you here. Um, stay tuned on our website for more exclusive interviews and I'll be back soon. Thank you.